I, oh, how did you, you know, Nipsey is another one when you're talking about like uh, staying just current. You know what I mean? Because it's so easy for people to go, man, that shit was years ago. Ah, da, da, da. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the it, it's almost like, do you feel, I, it, it's easy to miss certain things, you know, for people to miss certain things. Do you feel like you get your roses now? Or, because when you look at the, the features that you've had, the quality of the sound and how it ages, you know what I'm saying? Especially with a guy like Nipsey. People miss, some people miss Nipsey while he was here and some people caught it while they were there. So if right. you go back and watch, oh shit, CeeLo was on that too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So do you feel like uh, you're somebody that gets the notoriety and appreciation you deserve now, or do you feel like, like, what are your thoughts on that? And actually, you know, I posted it on his birthday. I was just about to say to somebody, say happy birthday, Neil, man. He just had a birthday. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, rest in peace, young king. Um, mm, so unfortunate. Um, but it's bittersweet that I was able to be a part of the project. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, Nipsey met years ago. You know what I mean? Um, and it's just basically kind of what we was, you know, talking about earlier, man, how, um, I don't know, man. Like, you know, I know, um, I know I'm real. I know I done said some real shit too. You know what I mean? Like, mm. and I know that I've showcased a range, you know what I mean? Like, um, um, and just this really colorful, uh, <laughs> like, you know, um, archived, you know, uh, career. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, I've been able to do a lot of different stuff successfully. You know what I mean? Like, and it is, it is rare. It is it's very rare. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. But the young boys, they got love for me. Yeah. They got love for me, man. They come and get me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Whether it's whether it's Nip, you know, whether it's Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Offset, you know. Yeah. Um, so I just be like, damn, you know what I mean? Um Who made that phone call? Did he make that phone call or no? Nah, man. Um Goody Mob's management, uh, uh, her name is Keisha. Okay. Keisha from, the, Keisha from the West Coast, you know what I'm saying? And um, I hadn't seen or spoken to Nip in years, mm -hmm. you know? And on the street side, we know a lot of the same homies, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Um, but Keish, put it like this. Keisha's a professional, very accomplished woman, but she's from the West Coast. And everybody from the West Coast come from somewhere. Can you do Yeah, it? yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so you know, she you know, you know, she from out the neighborhood. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. So you know what I'm saying? So they was able to really make that that collaboration happen. And yeah. it just came by way of her, just really casually. You know yeah. what I mean? And uh and I was like, definitely. So mm. I heard him describe it, I forgot what interview he was doing. And um he was just basically describing how dope he thought it was because to me, when somebody calls me to do a hook, I listen to it and um, I say to myself, how can I paraphrase or summarize what the song is saying? You know what I mean? Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Like, yeah. Um, so the hook of a song is supposed to be basically like a sound bite, like a headline that you can go by. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, the 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 verses is the full disclosure, the full interview. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I was looking at it like that, and um, then I put the analogy of the, of, the, of the ball game to it. You know what I mean? So he was describing it how like he was like, wow, you know, I didn't really look at it like that, but you could just tell. I mean, like it was just really clever of him to put it in that context, and you know, he just showed me a lot of love. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and I just love. One thing I miss about him, I just miss listening to him speak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Such a great speaker. An orator. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? So 
if Nip would have been 35 two days ago, are you telling me it's going to take another 35 years for somebody to, to come of age mm. and have an equal amount or if not more wisdom? You know what I'm saying? You yeah. feel me? Yeah. He was, such a, he was such a young hopeful. And, you know, us, you know, with a lot of this gun violence and the way that we cut each other down, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like, man, you know, when somebody like that go, it's like so much, you lose so much. Yeah. It's so tragic, man. Not only just the life, man, but man, all the many, all of the many lives that he could have guided and saved. You know what I mean? You yeah. feel me? Yeah. So I be trying to live on. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Because, you know, in you know, in privacy, you know what I mean? Like that's one of the things that the young homie would say to me. You know what I mean? Like when he got steered in that positive positive direction. Um, you know, a lot of people, so many occasions, a lot of the young ones have accredited goodie mob and the things that we did. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. You know, and we did it, we did it when it, it wasn't popular, man. It wasn't no was no profit or mm. wasn't no popularity in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Be yeah. Because 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 it was a knowledge that we were it was a presentation and a demonstration. And it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't a common knowledge, some of the things that we were touching on. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Right, right. We were trying we were trying to educate and enlighten. Yeah. And, some, and sometimes when you're talking to people, they think you're talking either at them or down to them. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. But but when you're trying to inform and educate, it's it's because information is the only equality. We shall have. We got to know the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. You feel me? 